So when it comes to the government, they love to give you the rules. But do the government actually follow these rules? <laughs> no. The BBC headline says that the council has been inundated with proof of RAF Scampton asylum camp work. It says in September, West Lindsay District Council served the Home Office with a notice ordering it to cease all work at the former RAF Scampton site. Essentially, the government were transforming this Royal Air Force base into a migrant camp, and the council said stop. However, council officers had witnessed work continuing during a site visit. And you can see by the photos on screen that the government workers are on site and that they are working. It says that the Home Office plans to house up to 2,000 Johnny Foreigners at the former home of the Red Arrows and also the wartime Dambusters squadron in Lincolnshire, but it's been met with strong opposition. And importantly, it says that it's been prohibited from operational development, such as the installation of portable buildings and groundworks, meaning that this is direct proof that the government is not following the same rules that you are told to follow. It's just a double standard that we see far too much these days. And I'm not really one for government rules. But if they make them, then they can at least follow them. I don't know, it just seems like the bare minimum that this unelected government could do for the taxpayers like me and you. And I just want to say thank you very much for subscribing. We're almost at 22,000 subscribers, which is pretty mind-bending. I mean, it's 22,000 more votes than Rishi Sunak got. This country has gone crazy.